Hi everybody, it's Dr. Bulow here, and I hope you've been having a wonderful spring. Uh, this week in my office, I've been talking about the relationship of car starters to medications. It, uh, it sounds like a stretch. What, is, what does a car starter have to do with medications? Well, I'm going to tell you in the next minute and a half or so, and I hope that you enjoy it. Last weekend, my car, my van, did not start, and we tried to start it, and, and nothing seemed to work. And we tried to jump it, and that didn't work, and so the, the diagnosis was made of perhaps a bad starter. And so, instead of waiting till next week and, and having somebody else do it, I did it myself. I went and I, I bought a car starter, and I replaced the thing by myself in the driveway for hours, two hours on Sunday. And I'm telling you, I've never replaced a thing in my life when it comes to a car engine, and I think it's a conspiracy how hard it is for you to have to change a part on your own. But I did it. Only to find out that wasn't the problem at all. It was the battery. The battery had to be replaced. It was faulty, so even when it was attached to another car, it didn't start. So then, not only do I have to go get a battery, I have to take the new starter that I just spent two hours putting in and put the original starter back in. So at the end of the Sunday, I'm thinking to myself, what can I take from this? What, what was the point of me spending four hours on a perfectly good Sunday afternoon doing all this work? And here's what I thought. I said, you know what? At least I learned something. When you go through something by yourself, you learn something. And it got me thinking, you know, it's a lot like the use of medications. As long as it's not something vital to your survival, if you are able to go through a sickness or disease without medications, your body will learn something. It will be stronger on the back end if you allow it to go through the process, even though it may not be the most comfortable thing in the world. Probably the best example would be things that affect your, 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 your immunity. So things like the flu. Right? Or, or fevers and babies. You know, there's a reason for those things. Your body's immune system is adapting and changing and growing. And if all we do is throw a bunch of antibiotics at it, then it doesn't have an opportunity to learn. So the next time that germ comes in, your body's no better. It hasn't grown. So may I suggest that as long as it's not a life-threatening condition, consider not taking the medication. Consider allowing your body to go through the process of adaptation, of healing, and of change, even though it's not comfortable for ourselves or for our loved ones. Because on the back end, we'll learn something. We'll be stronger for it. So just another way to look at things, and that's why there are some similarities between car starters and medications. I'm Dr. Bula. hope you enjoyed this little health tip or health thought for the week, and we'll see you next time.